The iPhone 6 stands as a revolutionary milestone in the history of the iPhone. Its unveiling in 2014 introduced a shift towards a larger, phablet-sized iPhone, something that Apple customers had been yearning for for ages. The seamless blend of sleek design, enhanced capabilities, and innovative features made the iPhone 6 an instant hit, earning it the title of the best-selling iPhone of all time. Today we're taking a trip down nostalgia lane as we dive into the iPhone 6, a true icon of its time, and whether or not it still holds up in today's smartphone landscape. First, we gotta talk about that new design. The iPhone 6 was a departure from its predecessors, with its rounded edges and slim all-aluminum profile, compared to the squared-off edges and glass-backed designs of the 5 and the 4 that preceded it. Apple switched back to that square edge and glass design with the iPhone 12 and newer iPhones, but there is definitely something to be said about how comfortable holding this rounded body is. However, its large top and bottom bezels do remind us that it is a product of that era. Additionally, some people complained of that intrusive looking antenna line design, as well as <sighs> non-flush camera bump? If only they knew what was coming. Moving on to build quality, the iPhone 6 stood the test of time pretty well. Its aluminum construction is quite solid, which contributed to its longevity. But who could forget the iPhone's most infamous controversy? Bendgate. Where the iPhone could buckle quite easily with pressure. I've never had this happen with my iPhone 6, but it was definitely prominent in the media in 2014 with iPhone 6s bending like wet newspapers, and remains one of the biggest iPhone failures of all time. Thankfully, Apple switched to stronger 7000 series aluminum for the 6S, preventing further boomeranged iPhones. The 4.7 inch retina display was a big deal back then, as it marked the transition to bigger iPhones, making it a lot more competitive with the plethora of Android phablet offerings back then. While it may not boast OLED technology or super ultra HD 4K display technology, the screen still offers vibrant colors, good contrast and sharpness considering its age, and is definitely very usable. Watching videos and browsing the web on this display is still quite enjoyable, although it may not be as edge-to-edge -edge as modern smartphones. But that isn't quite the end of the story with the iPhone 6 display, as it was also subject to a quite widespread issue known as touch disease. This disease is described as when your iPhone stops responding to touch inputs or displays grey bars at the top of the screen. I've actually experienced this issue on my device, where the display doesn't register my input, or shows ghost touches, where it just clicks on random things by itself. Apple only officially recognizes this issue for iPhone 6 models, but a quick online search shows many regular 6 owners with affected touchscreens. Definitely a big knock against usability, though it is fair to mention that an inexpensive replacement screen will solve this issue. Now let's go into the specs and features. The A8 chip coupled with 1GB of RAM powers the iPhone 6. While it might not match the processing power of today's smartphones, it was snappy for its time and could handle most tasks well. That 1GB of RAM is definitely a bottleneck for multitasking, with apps frequently reloading in the background, but still it's quite usable. It is important to note that the iPhone 6 is very out of date iOS wise, with the last version being 12.5.7. That being said, it's still pretty usable with most popular apps still being supported. The 6 also came with NFC, which allowed contactless payments through Apple Pay. It is so cool! This was a pretty big feature when it was first introduced, and is one that is still used every day to make convenient and secure payments at checkout. Touch ID was also improved for this generation, allowing for even faster biometric authentication. Though Face ID now trumps it for the most convenient biometric unlock method, there are still scenarios where your finger can just unlock faster, and I do honestly miss it sometimes. The camera, though not quite as advanced as today's models, produces pretty decent photos. The 8 megapixel sensor was essentially lifted from the iPhone 5S with minor tweaks. Photos look sharp and have adequate detail in the day. Take a look at some of these samples. Huh. 
However, it is a different story at night. The lack of night mode back then makes dark photos basically unviewable. Video is a mixed bag. The lack of OIS makes video quite shaky, but if you have a steady hand, it is completely acceptable. New for 2014 was slow-mo video. We take it for granted now, but this was a pretty big deal back then, and I'm sure you'll have wasted a few minutes here or there shooting some silly slow-mo video for no reason whatsoever. The selfie camera is pretty inexcusable though. The whopping 1.2 megapixels produces exactly what you'd expect from that. Grainy and quite crappy selfies. And now, the moment of truth. Is the iPhone 6 still usable? Yes. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. It can definitely still handle everyday tasks like messaging, browsing, and social media. The iOS version is definitely a limiter though, with the latest version being 12.5.7. That's several years out of date now, and it means that app support and security updates will just keep slipping away. Additionally, the variety of issues that the iPhone 6 has associated with it are definitely cause for concern. But as a backup phone or a first phone, it's still very much a usable device nowadays and provides a very inexpensive first step into the iPhone lifestyle. Wrapping it up now, the iPhone 6's enduring popularity was no fluke. Its design, build quality, and features were groundbreaking at the time contributing to its status as the best-selling iPhone ever. While it's not a powerhouse by today's standards, and it does have some question marks in terms of reliability, it's remarkable how functional the iPhone 6 still remains. So if you're feeling nostalgic or looking for a very budget-friendly device, don't hesitate to give the iPhone 6 a second glance. <laughs>